Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and all our online friends, good afternoon. Welcome to 2023 China Pass. I'm the host May, and it is my great honor to be here to with all of you to witness the great moment in here. And now, first of all, welcome to the booth of the Hot 10 K Stating One. And now we are so honored to have the General Manager, Large BU Engineer Plastic, Peter Wom Hofman. Hello, Peter. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, can you give us an introduction of yourself and our company to our audience? With pleasure. So, my name is Peter von Hoffmann. I'm general manager at Coperion and responsible for the business for the engineering plastics, for machinery and for the uh, equipment around the machinery. Mm, so, um, could you introduce the latest trends on our innovation technology on this 2022 China Pass? Sure, absolutely. So there's still a big desire for new equipment out there in the market. So we are always working on our equipment. Mm. And behind us here, you see our ZSK 58 uh, um, CMC version, yeah. which means it's assembled in our plant in China, in Nanjing. Okay. Uh, but the processing section and the drivetrain is from our ZSK, from our German machine. Mm. But the parts that are, um, are also localized, like the base frame and the manifold, they are taken from China. So yeah. we have a very competitive machine, yeah. but with very high quality still. High quality. Yeah. So that's, that's one I would like to show, and maybe on the feeder side of it also, if I can show here. Okay. Um, you have here a, a gravimetric feeder, oh. and here there is a servo motor inside now, and a servo motor is replacing the, the old motors, the DC motors, yeah. and it has a ratio, mm. in, not of 1 to 100, but now of 1 to 500. It means yes. you can do much more output with the same size of feeder. Oh, okay, I get you. Um, okay. So what about the other machine? Uh, yes, and then we have, uh, this is our ZSK series, it goes up to 420 millimeters uh, mm. uh, screw diameter, which is very big for the polyolefin areas. We have a local machinery series called STS, yeah. and if you look over there, you can see one barrel just being shown for a STS 125, so 125 millimeters big. That's the biggest STS local machine that we are building at the moment, and this is especially looked for a machine in the recycling area. Yes in the biopolymer area and also in the battery area. Okay, so, so uh, shall we go there to show it around to our audience? The yes, machine? certainly. Mm. Uh, is, that, is that this one? Yeah, yeah. This one. yeah so, so give a detailed information about that. Yeah, sure. Okay, so this is what you see here is a barrel of a STS-125. Mm. What you can maybe also notice is that there is a difference here from material to the yeah. outside uh, material. That means this is a wear protection uh, barrel for demanding applications so that there is no abrasion and the machine will last much longer. Behind yeah. it, right? Then you have uh, the elements here, different types of elements. Mm. So you can uh, melt polymers, uh, you can mix and you can uh, convey. Yeah. And the decisive thing is that we are looking for a machine, STS, with high torque. Mm. It has a, a specific torque of 11 mm. and can therefore do very, uh, very high outputs for these demanding applications like batteries, recycling and biopolymers. Okay, so we also know that uh, covering is an aspect in the recycling of the plastic as well as the introduction of the bioplastic. So can you show us where is the new trend as this aspect? Yeah, we have a lot of uh, new developments in this area. First of all, we are selling a lot of machines in bioplastics. Yeah. Uh, especially in Europe, there is a lot of areas where you cannot use plastic bags mm. anymore, so you need biodegradable products. Okay. Uh, and we have a lot of machines running for biodegradables up to uh, 133 millimeter mm. with a very high output. Yeah. And that this is uh, going all around the world based on starches or on other uh, polymers. And in uh, recycling, I have a screen back there that I'd like to show you where I can explain so a little bit more. So we go to around the show us, okay? That's okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, okay, Peter, uh, can you show us about the demonstration? Sure. So this is showing a recycling plant, basically. And the new thing is, uh, Coperion was always doing this back end for recycling. That yeah. means when the raw material has been cleaned and washed mm. and, and cut, mm. we can make new pellets and new products out of it and upcycle the product. Oh. This has already been in the Coperion scope, yeah. especially with the twin screw, material handling, feeding from mm. us. Mm. Now what is new is we also have the washing side of it oh, and side. the crushing side. Okay. So there's a company called Herbold, a German supplier also of crushers and washing machines, yeah. washing lines. Mm. is integrated into our company since last year. Mm. And now we are able to basically supply the whole chain. So the raw material will come, oh. as you can see here, oh. in bales, like bottles that are collected. 
and then they are cut mm. and then you go through the different steps to wash it yeah. and in the end to have a very high quality of product in the end again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the aim. We don't want to lose polymers, we don't want them mm. to be dumped. Uh, we want to reuse and uh, close the loop as, ma as often as possible. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? <laughs> and maybe besides this, this is a mechanical uh, treatment also. We also go into uh, chemical recycling. Mm. That means we have uh, already sold also lines and they yeah. are just starting up where we are returning from the plastics, um, melting them up, going to a reactor mm. and going back to the oil again. Yeah. So that you have, it, after the oil, you can either um, use the oil or go back into the polymer and have an absolute virgin polymer coming out of it. Yeah, okay. So in this area, we are also active. Absolutely. That is so good. So could you share with us the future plans in the 2023 or the next 10 year or? Sure. Like so Coparian, as you can see also on that picture, we have a lot of scope around a compounding plant. Yeah. Uh, we are still busy uh, growing, filling gaps. So we are always on the lookout for interesting targets also to acquire, to, to grow more. Yeah. In the last uh, months also, we have acquired several companies in the food area. Mm. And this is one, uh, so we are a big player in the plastics and recycling area. Uh, but definitely also in the food area uh, we are growing and this is a very stable interesting business also where you need high-end equipment because mm. in the end uh, it has to be very clean uh, very good processes behind it because people are eating the products yeah. behind it. Yeah. okay so this is one of the areas another area i can maybe mention is uh, when i came to shenzhen i was surprised there are so many electrical vehicles now driving yeah. Yeah? so we are also taking part in this technology mm. because for the production of batteries um, the first step is mixing the components mm. uh, and we are also taking part in this continuously with the twin screw extruder. So this yeah. is a new development that we are working on at the moment. Okay, thank you. So could you tell us something about the vision about the future? Our vision is to be a complete supplier of plants yeah. uh, in the plastics industry, but mm. as I mentioned also in the food industry mm. and now more and more also in the recycling and batteries area. So this is where we are heading. Okay. Uh, we have had enormous growth in the last years, also driven by China, we have mm. to say. So we are very thankful and very strong in, yeah. in China. And we want to continue this good cooperation and uh, continue to grow and yeah. be the major player in the plastics uh, compounding industry. We also hope that the carbon will become better and better. <laughs> oh, so thank you. Now, all our online friends, if you are interested to our Korean, so you can come to the Hall 10, K71, to have interesting, to get more information about our booth. And our online friends, also you can review this the technology of our brew to through the China Plus 2023. Okay, so much for your cooperation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.